The following Patriot Profile is presented without commercial interruption by Smith & Wesson. Ten years ago, probably the most dangerous thing generally the game wardens would face is coming up against an aggressive spotlight or someone uh, poaching deer at night, maybe shining a light, intoxicated, and we have to you know, go up against them in the middle of the night and we're by ourselves. Residual effects of poisons. That bird right there probably hasn't died but a day or two ago, if that. I don't think people realize the extent of the damage that's really going on. It's not just nature and wildlife, it's also the citizens that are being poisoned by this. When I started this job, the last thing I ever thought I'd be doing is dressing up in special operations gear and going on the fight for marijuana cultivators and dealing with the cartel drug trafficking organizations that are destroying and poisoning our wildlife and our, our resources out there that are threatening the public. fishing game work. The armed hunters, which we like to see because they're sportsmen like us and they look forward to seeing us. Then you got the armed poacher who isn't so happy to see fishing game and you never know how that can go. And then we get into a, uh, a drug trafficking organization cartel gunman who isn't even going to stop to talk. They may go to guns instantly like we've seen now three times in the last five years. And that's the step of direction fishing game has gone to do those hard heavy jobs.